Hey, welcome to video number 212 of Walkers This Way with Hazel Walker, the queen of all things. Being I am networking. I am Mark Simmons. How are you doing today? All dressed in red, Hazel? I, yeah, I'm all dressed up for nothing, but, you know, I've got to work out after this, so it'll be quick and easy change. Yeah, it's the power seat. <laughs> hey, Hazel Walker. Yeah. I got money. Yeah. It's invisible that I got money. I can do two things with my money. I can spend said money or I can invest said money. Well, what's the difference between spending and investing? My money? Uh, one, I will lose money. One, I will grow my money, grow my dollars. In theory. In yes, theory. it comes down to markets and things, but I have more chance of growing my dollars if I invest it than I will have going and buying stuff with it. I have zero chance then. Right, zero chance. Right. So with when I spend money, I get nothing in return, or I get a, I get a, a thing. short term term thing. Like if I buy a if I buy a new pair of boots, they may last me two or three years. But when I go to sell those boots, they did not go up in price. They did not because now they're used, right? And I I may have paid two hundred dollars for them, but I'm as a matter of fact, I bought a pair of fry boots recently at mm -hmm. a uh, thrift store and I saw them and, and fry boots are pretty expensive. And this particular pair of fry boots were $245 if I wanted to order them online. But I went into a thrift store and there they sat. And I was like, I can't believe those boots are sitting there. And I, I went over and I picked them up and they were my size. Those $245 boots I got for $22. Right. And they had not been worn there was not even a scuff on the bottom but i still got them for 22 dollars, right because someone bought them and they didn't get any return on them beyond some joy right maybe i don't think they even got joy out of those boots yeah. so you know you don't have you get no return but when you invest money you get a return right yeah banks will pay you an interest rate uh if you invest wisely you know i know i talk to my guy that does my investments and he tells me how much my money grew. I got it like a 33% or a 28% or whatever it was. He tells me what, so it, I got more money. Mm -hmm. Same thing works with time. You can invest time or you can spend time. You can invest time wisely mm -hmm. or you can spend time. So I've been spending time in art projects that I'm, been doing right they're not going to bring they just i i get joy out of doing them it's a hobby thing right i'm not making any money so i'm spending time really i'm just spending time doing it but if i were investing time i would get a great return on it so b and i is much that way and i say to members are you investing time in your b and i chapter or are you just spending time in your BNI chapter? Are you investing the time in your membership? Or are you just spending time? And investing time will get you a return for your membership. Where spending time isn't going to get you anything. And, yeah. and you see the time spenders all the time. The people who are chasing points so they can be in the top of the green. But they're not really making any money and they're not really being thanked for much and they're not doing continuing education. They're just scoring points, scoring points, right. right? Or the ones who just come into the meeting and they really don't participate, but they're just holding the seat. They're too busy to do one-to-ones. They're too busy to do CEUs. So they're just spending time and money in an organization and not getting anything back for it. And right. then they'll then the complaint is BNI doesn't work, right? Yeah. But investing time means you're having good one-to-ones and you're learning about each other's business, where you do business, how you do business, all of that stuff, what your goals are, what your accomplishments are, the gains profile. You're investing, you're investing time in doing the education so you get better at this. So your depth of knowledge is deeper. And that's when you're actually working your network versus networking. Networking is spending time. Working your network is investing in your network. Yeah. And I know we have understood that it would make a huge difference for them.
Yeah, it's 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 really I feel like it's really a perspective thing too. Because we have, you know, occasionally we'll have the conversations, or I will with, with members, and they talk, well, I'm spending so much time doing this and this and this in, in my chapter, and it, it's whatever. That's a perspective. And and it's okay to have that. It's probably not helping you as far as BNI goes. But the perspective of what I'm doing is investing it, because you're also investing in BNI, but you're also investing in your business. So this is an investment you've made in your business. I'm investing in the marketing, and I'm investing in the action plans and marketing plans and you know, each one to one is an investment in time in marketing your business. What you're investing in really in BNI is the relationships. If you don't invest in time in those relationships, you will not get a return because you're not going to be getting referrals yeah. of any real quality, right? You've got to invest in that relationship. So it, I, yeah, how much time are you? And you know, when we wrote the book, Business Networking and Sex, um, one of the things we learned is the most successful people, the ones who said they were getting the biggest results out of all of their networking, and this was we surveyed BNI members and non-BNI members, were the people who were doing six to eight hours of working their networks, six to eight hours a week, really investing into their network. And those were the ones who were proclaiming massive results. So the question to ask yourselves, if you're watching this, is how a, how are you looking at what it is you're doing in BNI and outside of BNI? Are you spending time doing it, or are you actually investing time doing it? And then what does that mean? And I know in every chapter when we we have um, we bring up these topics at like running workshops, and we there are some who say I'm spending, and there's always a member or two who speak out. We don't even have to; they speak out and go. Well, no, I look at it differently. I'm investing my time doing this, and I'm they they see it in the way we're we're guiding uh, our listeners to to start thinking about how they show up as a member and in their business is uh, it, investing it. Isn't it the same words with um, someone taught me this? Oh, I would say I have to go do this. I have to go do this. Yeah. They go and they looked at me and said, "No, you get to go do this." Yeah. It's a different mindset i have to as if i'm being forced versus i get to as if it's a privilege right yeah. i have to do these one-to-ones i have to do these meetings i have to do these ceos as as if it's something punishing instead of i get to do all of this because it's going to grow my business there's actually one member that comes to mind as you're saying that right now um who says that all the time you know what it is garth mcfadden but always says it I, I don't um I don't yeah. have to do this. I get to do this. And yeah. He does. He's got that that mindset of I get to. It's a privilege to get to do this. Correct. I, yeah. yeah. So book a one to one with Garth McFadden. He'd love to talk to you about uh, perspective on that as well and how it's really helped him in his now I think 17 or 18 years in BNI. And I pay really close attention now to when I say. Well, I have to go to a meeting. No, I get to go to a meeting with the leadership team of the chapter. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a big, it is a, it's a, it's a mindset. Investing and in, in spending, getting to and have to, they're, they're mindsets. Perfect. That's a great place to leave it. Get to, want to, have to, spend time, invest time. You get to choose, make the best of it. Thank you, Hazel Walker. Till next time. Bye. Bye.